auditions, car wash, and more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. I'm your host, Emily, and I brought my fellow friend today. Hey, hot dogs. I'm Ivan, and the Hooligans auditions are next Wednesday after school. Enter to the theater doors and not the green room. Wait, I don't go to school here. What are the hooligans? Oh, Emily, a hooligan is a, is a violent young troublemaker, typically one of a gang. <laughs> well, I know that, but what are hooligans at school? Oh, those hooligans, Emily? The hooligans are a group of high school students that do comedy shows and improv shows. They are really funny. You should go to one of those shows. I'll consider it. But thanks, Ivan. Anyway, happy birthday goes out to Elijah Oldham and Lisa McGuire. On to more news, Food Finders received a COVID-19 grant to provide additional food to our community. They are having an additional drop-off Tuesday, August 25th at the Boys and Girls Club. This event is sponsored by the United Way for Clinton County. This will be a drive through distribution. We ask that all clients remain in their vehicles at all times and that no one arrives prior to 10.30 a.m. with the event beginning at 11. Not to violate with sports. Hi guys, the Frankfurt High School cheerleading team is having a car wash this Saturday. Come out and support your FHS cheerleaders at the First Church of Nazarene on 2056 East Wabash Street from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Donations are accepted. The soccer team is selling discount cards, so if you'd like to purchase one, you can get them from Michelle Garza, Kenya Garcia, and Ariana Ragalotto, also including anyone on the soccer team. The Boys and Girls Cross Country team had a preemptive fundraiser that raised $105 for the Humane Society. As part of this team fundraiser, money was raised ahead of time through donations, with 10% of the money going towards the needs of the Humane Society. Part 2 of this fundraiser will occur in a couple months due to COVID-19, in which the team will actually be running with dogs from the Humane Society, like in years past, to get some exercise for the dogs as a community service. Great job by all the runners that participated in raising funds. Today at 4.30, the girls' varsity golf team will be having an away meet at Try West, but that's not the last event that's happening today. Today at 6, vars the varsity girls volleyball team will be having a game at home, so make sure to come out and support the girls. The volleyball scrimmage will be streamed live on the ICS Sports Network. That's it for sports. Back to the hosts. All right, hot dogs, that's it for today for the news. And don't worry, we are six feet apart, right, Emily? <laughs> well, like five and a half feet apart, um, but it doesn't matter. It rounds up to six feet. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow, hot dogs. <laughs>